Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. But I am revealing my favorite artists, which include new bands from the 21st century and also include uh, musicians and artists from before I was born. Some of them even died before I was born. So I go, I'm going both directions. I'm going into the past and into the future. That's something we haven't talked about. Yes, I celebrate the music of the 21st century, but I also like a lot of old music, standards and blues and jazz. So that's it. And uh, so I'm revealing a little bit about myself. The criteria, I'm going to put it in the notes, or you can watch the first video. I explain it. I mean, briefly, it's a playlist. I'm actually ranking 80-minute playlists. Um, how interested am I in the band? Do I read articles or biographies about these groups? And thirdly, um, have I seen them in concert and what was my experience? So, yeah, uh, now number 132. Um, this is a band that's been around for 48 years. Yeah, that's right. From 1976 to the present. And all the original members are still alive. And they've not had a personnel uh, change except one. They've had one personnel change. But four of the members of the group are steady. And you don't hear a lot about this uh, band in America, but they sure were big in England, where they're from, in London. And it's the uh, post-punk and art-punk band. Those are the genres. We're looking at the band Wire, W-I-R-E. Yeah, I love this band. They have a aggression and a melodicism that's just phenomenal. And their albums like Pink Flag and Chairs Missing and 154. So I don't have any physical copies with me today. I used to own 154 on cassette. I remember that. I'm not sure what else I've owned, uh, but I checked in my collection. I don't, I don't have anything presently. I also have not seen them. Now, in that 48 years, they've had a couple hiatuses, but uh, they have uh, wonderful music. I have a link to the Spotify playlist, 80-minute playlist of their music, if you're interested. And you can listen to them and do a deep dive. I, I, I just think their songs are so catchy. Sometimes the lyrics are uh, a, a, a bit odd. I am the fly, I am the fly in the ointment, you know. Uh, they have a song that uh, the song title is a map direction, like uh, 41 degrees north, so many degrees west, and it's a map direction. So they have really unique lyrics, but man, the songs are so catchy especially in the early days and number 132 wire from london england post-punk 1976 to 2024 yeah all those guys like colin newman all those guys still alive still playing still touring their last album was 2020 and their first album was pink flag so check them out if you're not familiar with them uh to my subscribers in uh, England, you'll probably be more familiar. And that's it. Uh, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. And comments are welcome. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.